Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fold Brigand, which is an awesome paper airplane. But first I want to make a couple announcements. The first one is that the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designer Contest is currently accepting submissions. So if you design your own planes and you'd like to see them featured on this channel, then be sure to go to foldableflight.com slash contest where you can learn how to enter. I have extended the deadline to Wednesday, October 9th. So you have just a few more days to submit your designs. Now, the grand prize winners of that contest will have their planes featured on this channel and they will get these really cool grand prize trophies featuring their name and their plane on it. And this year we have an added prize associated with this contest. I have been working on a board game now for almost two years. It's called Angle of Attack. I think I'm changing the name to Top Flight. We'll see. It's still in development, but the idea is that it's going to feature 100 different paper airplanes and each card, which represents a paper airplane in the game, will have a QR code attached to it that you can scan to learn how to fold that plane. So it's gonna be a massive board game and a massive tutorial kit for 100 different paper airplanes. I'm so excited to share this with you. It'll probably be about a year or more before I'm done, but the grand prize winners will have their planes featured as cards within the game uh, when it is published. So. This is a really cool thing. I hope that all of you are as excited as I am about this project. And on that note, I want to thank a few people. So I went just a couple weeks ago to St. Louis to what is called the Stonemeyer Design Day. Stonemeyer Games is a publisher of board games and they host this day where board game designers like myself and people much more experienced than me in that field get together and play test each other's games. And I had the opportunity to have my game play tested there and get some really constructive feedback. So I just wanna thank everybody involved, both at Stonemeyer Games and the other designers and publishers and just players that participated in this weekend. Uh, just thank you for making it an awesome environment and for being such a great resource to board game designers like me. Now, with all that said, let's take a look at Brigand and then I'll show you how it flies. Now, as you can see, Brigand looks awesome and it's really pretty easy to fold. I would say this is somewhere between easy and intermediate and it flies over 100 feet, but not in the way that you would typically expect. You know, with most planes, you throw them in a straight line and they kind of glide straight. With this one, you're going to throw it up into the air where it will level out and then glide in a direction, which might not be the direction you originally pointed. So when you throw it, instead of throwing it like this, you're going to kind of angle your arm and intentionally throw it at an angle where it's leaned over and it'll climb up, kind of circle up, level out, and then fly really, really far. So this is an awesome design. Let me show you this plane in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold it. Three, two, one, go. All you will need in order to fold Brigand is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch paper or A4 paper. And we're going to begin by folding this edge here to this edge over here. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and open your paper up and you're going to fold a band that's about an inch and a half at the top or four centimeters roughly. This is an estimation. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size as mine, but something like that should work well for you. And then we will open that up and fold the top edge almost to this crease. Leave just a tiny little gap between your edge and that crease. It should look like this. And then go ahead and roll that in on the existing crease you have. And now we'll flip the paper over. At this point, you'll want to fold this edge here into the center crease, making a triangle just like this one here. And once you do that, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Oh, 
Okay, so your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to fold this short little edge of this band here right to the center crease. I want to be really accurate with this. And do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And with one side, it can be either side, just reverse the crease you made and tuck this triangle behind the band. Leave the other side just as it is, so it'll look like this. Now, my next step is I'm going to fold all the way across the paper right through these two corners. And actually, I'm flipping the paper over and pulling this down, and I want to kind of find those points, those corners I was talking about, and pull nice and tight to those corners, and then also land this point on the center crease. And then I'm just creasing all the way across the top edge. So you can see if I flip this paper over, I'm going right along the edge of this triangle there. Okay, but I do actually want to look at it from this side here. And now I'm going to fold starting at the top of this band right here and landing this corner on the center crease. And once I do that, I just sweep down the wing like that and do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, so your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to rotate it into this position here and I'm going to make the next fold and then I'll explain to you exactly what I did. Okay, so obviously I'm folding to this corner here. You can see where exactly where that crease goes. But my reference on this side is actually behind this layer. You can see there's an intersection between this band here and that diagonal edge. So right there, that is my reference. I want to land the crease I make on that point behind the layer. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So it should look like that. And now we'll go ahead and open up back into this position here. I like to kind of rub these creases with my fingernails to help flatten them because now we're actually going to fold those creases we just made in the opposite direction. Just like that. And just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to actually tuck these in to the pocket here. And the way you do that is you kind of bend that layer, open up the pocket, and swing it in just like that. And I know my hands are kind of in the way, but I think you get an idea of what I'm doing there. Just opening up the pocket, swinging the layer in, just like that. And you may need to kind of flatten your wings back out once you do that. And now I'll go ahead and fold this in half so these layers stay on the outside. And I'm going to fold my wings right along the top edge of this band, straight to the back edge just like that. I'll flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Lining up my wings as I do this. And now I'll go ahead and fold this edge here back up to that edge. And then flip the paper over, do the same thing on this side. And let me unfold both of those like so. Now, if you're using eight and a half by 11 inch paper like I am, your next fold is from this point here, this edge to the crease you just made. If you are using A4 paper, your fins are going to be a little smaller than that. So leave a little gap like that between your edge and the crease. But I'm using eight and a half by 11, so I go all the way to the crease, flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Okay, and now I can unfold all that, open the paper back up into this position here, and I'm going to make my fin. So I'm folding from this point here 
to the point where that crease intersects the back edge. So just like this, I'm holding both layers there. And now in order to make that fin stick up on the other side, you can open this up. This crease here is going in the wrong direction. The one that's a valley fold from this perspective is great. You're going to have to reverse that crease there. And it can be a little tricky to do that, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm basically pinching that crease. And now I'm ready to just push down on that and inside reverse fold the fin, which makes it poke up out the other side. Next, we need to lock our plane together. So you can see we've got a tab on one side, we've got a pocket on the other side. I like to kind of open the pocket up just a little bit and curl my tab just a little bit. As I close the plane like this, I'm going to want to tuck this tab into the pocket on the other side. And I know that's hard to see, it's kind of small, but you get the idea here. I'm tucking the tab into the pocket and as I close this up, just gently finagling it, the tighter you get that, the better. You can even use like a ballpoint pen or a credit card or something to help make that really, really nice and tight. And now I'm just setting the wing angle of my plane. So the center section should angle down slightly like this. Then these next sections should be nice and flat. And then finally, your fins should angle straight upward. And with that, thank you so much for watching and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. I'm now releasing a new tier where you can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldableflight and join the foldable fleet today.